Hello people, so this is my another tutorial on Photoshop. In the last tutorial, we learned how to use uh, path selection tool and direct selection tool. In this tool, we will learn how to use uh, these, uh, you know, four or five tools: rectangle tool, rounded rectangle tool, ellipse tool, and polygon tool, line tool, and custom shape tool. Okay. Once you click on this tool, you can see the top bar has come up. Okay. There are several options. Okay. We will go through one by one. Okay. Uh, these all the this bar actually dependent on this menu. If you click on this, you can see some you know uh, some you know uh, some tools or some you know uh, menu has been added. Okay, if you click here. You can see if you click here. You can see. Okay. So we will go through one by one. Okay, first of all, we will use with this tool rectangle tool. Okay. Uh, for that we need to open another layer okay so go to file uh, hide will be 450 by 450 pixel it, uh, okay and here you go <coughs> so we have this layer okay uh, new layer, okay so we have this uh, this tool I just click on this tool okay I want this tool uh, having certain option over here okay you can see if you click on this tool okay, you can see these are not here okay. you can choose these or these styles okay color okay these all are these styles okay uh, i'm using web style for 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 our information okay. so i just clicked on here okay and I want to create a this shape okay so what do we need to do we just need to drag you can see the nice shape is there you can see the shadow okay and if you don't want to have shadow there is another option okay this is the shadow shape these all are the shadow shape without shadow just click on here and then drag you can get without shadow okay certain Tools and certain options. Sorry for the mobile. Okay. And then we have. You can use several. You can just uh, click here. You can get so many options here. Okay. This is the. Let me show you the full. Okay. These all are the shapes. Okay. This is the small uh, button. Just click here. You can get so many things like buttons. You can get. Okay. These are the buttons. Okay. Then we can see the texture. Okay. You can get the textures. Like I opened this, you can see once I clicked on the texture, you can see the texture effect is there. Okay. So just play with this tool, just open. Okay. And. Uh, uh, then we have another tool that is called rounded rectangle tool okay for that I need to open a new layer okay. I'm just giving you a basic idea you can uh, you have to uh, work on uh, Photoshop and you will learn more okay I'm just giving you a basic idea okay. so uh, click uh, on another tool rounded rectangle tool okay once you click on this you can see there is another tab that is called radius okay uh, like see if i choose zero so i will i will get square shape okay you can see the four squares is there okay if i just uh, use any uh, any radius like i am i am using seven pixel radius then you can see the shapes I just had been gone and you can see it as a rounded shape is there okay if you increase like suppose 30 pixel see the shape okay. shape is beautiful you can go the go to web style to okay choose any color uh, like this like this 
like this, like this. Okay. You can see it's very nice, looking nice. Okay, you can create any button or whatever you want. Like this is the button shape. Okay, so just play with this tool, you will love to work on it. Okay, and then we have another tool. Okay. See if you don't want to use uh, these all tools, so you have to click on no style, and you can. Uh, if you don't want to use these all styles, no, then what you need to do, you need to go to here no style, or then go to click uh, click over here with the color shape. Okay, you can go there. You can opt any color. Okay, I just opted red, and then I will drag so I will get a round shape. Okay. This is another way to work on it. Okay. okay, so that's it. Then we have another tool that is called Ellipse Tool. Okay. Ellipse Tool is the, is the tool by which we can get the rounded shape like this. Okay. Uh, right now it will not reflect because I am using this color which is the match which is matching with the background. So what I will do I will have this white shape. You can see the rounded shape we have got it. Okay. Uh, if uh, we want to choose this, uh, so you can get this shape okay, as well. Okay. If you click here, so you will get this. Okay. So this is a very interesting tool. You just play with this tool, you will love. Okay. Then we have a polygon tool. Okay. Polygon means you can get more than okay. so we can get good. Like I am using, I'm, I'm, I want two five sides. Okay, let me tell you what is a side. Okay. Uh, let me choose the color first, different color. Okay, I am choosing this. Okay. Just okay, I created new layer. Okay. And now I want to use this tool polygon tool. Okay. Polygon tool is put to here and see polygon tool. You can see the five corners. These all are the sides. Okay. If I will select eight Hit enter and then I will drag so you can see I can get eight shapes, eight corners, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's how we can work on this tool. Okay, then we have a line tool to create a line that is a one pixel line. If you want to create five pixel line, you can create five. I want to create nine pixel line, so you can see it's a nine pixel line. Okay. Uh, that's it for this tool okay you just play with these tool uh, i hope you will love and will enjoy then we have a custom shape tool this tool i love a lot it's a very good tool very helpful to create uh, beautiful things like you can see there are let me open you layer okay i clicked on the shape tool custom shape tool last tool what this uh, tool is. sorry for a while okay click on the shape tool once you click here you can see the shapes um, uh, uh, is there okay click on this button okay. you can see so many options there okay so let me show you one by one like I want to create a, uh, a sun. Okay, so just click on the logo. Go to okay. Mm, this would be good. Yellow. Drag. And you can see the nice look is there. Okay. Uh, control that. Or you want to create. Uh, like uh, what? Okay, you want to create this this tree. Okay, 
just uh, no style i will choose the color i want to capture actual green color okay and then drag and here you go you can see the nice tree we can cut it okay then we also put some additional effects like i want to put uh, uh what we can say okay like you want to put a uh, car so click here the car okay then you want to have um the seat like uh, aeroplane okay. click on aeroplane and select the color gray color okay and drag you can see the aeroplane is here we can resize um, i think this select the layer control t to select the certain uh, image or whatever uh, thing you created okay is it okay you can see the aeroplane is there then we want to have like uh, like a dog okay so i will use like uh, this color for dog okay you can see the dog okay. so very so very nice car looking 3d patch looking like it looks like 3d that we put okay so you just play with this tool you will love and you will enjoy that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching